Hello everyone and welcome back to ETS2. It's been quite a long time. I have recorded an FS video earlier today, so this is actually the second video in a day that I'm recording. Fantastic. Finally back. It's been a long time. Now we're going to take a job, but I think we're going to take a really, really long job. So that is insane. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, this one here, 2600, I quite like the idea of this one. So this is, ooh, I have to remember, controls. This is going to take us to, well, that's north of Portugal, just on the border. That's not going to be one episode, that's going to be two. I'm going to split it in two, but I think this is a good job to do. So heavy cargo, we're not too bad. It's 27 tons of milk. I think we can do it. So, we've got to go and pick this up, of course. And as soon as we actually do that, I'll see exactly how long this is going to take. So, let's get rid of that. Why have I got my hazard lights on? No clue. So, to pick up the job is not going to take long. I am trying to remember. Oh, I know now. I know now. I couldn't work out. I had to disconnect something so that I could uh, disconnect my throttle so that I could then set up everything. And I forgot. It was it was complaining at me that there was something. I'm rambling now. Here we go, this is the one that's missing. So I think we will set that one to this. No, we'll set it to this, okay. And the one for rear suspension down is here, there we go. Right, yeah. So I've got my throttle and joystick and I completely forgot just then how it, what it was when it was warning me that I didn't have uh, the throttle connected I was thinking that's really weird why do I not have the throttle connected why does that matter and now I understand I have still I mentioned it in the FS video but obviously not everyone is watching the FS as well as this basically um, I've got a stand now for my um, uh, steering wheel and pedals and when I got the stand I set it up the way it told me to and after using it earlier I realized it's got a like um it's a blocker basically so that if you've got a chair on wheels like I do it makes sure that that chair stays dead still problem is it's really far back now I can actually adjust it I'm gonna sneak out in front of you sorry mate yeah, I can adjust it, um, and I should have done after I finished recording on FS, but I didn't, so I'm still sat quite far back. Anyway, we need to rest. Huh. That's not good. Next rest stop is in three hours. Okay, well that's going to change things a little. Um, that means this job is going to take much longer than I thought it would, because we're going to have to take a break immediately. But we can do that. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yes, it's been quite a while since I last recorded. I have been away. Wait, hey, 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 hey. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, I've been away for quite a while. Um, what was meant to be just a routine bit of DIY, followed by moving my stuff downstairs, just turned into several months, actually. Um, it was quite annoying how long it took. Not very happy about it, but at least it's all sorted now. Um, I will do a little tour video at some point, um, but the room is still a bit messy. I've got everything in, but it's just not very tidy at the moment. Ooh, 
<laughs> when I couldn't see him in my mirror, I knew there was something going on there. I just didn't know what. Oh, come on. This is a boring start to an episode. Trundling along to go and pick up the job, and it's miles away. So, at least we're back up to speed again. It won't take us long to get there. Come on, guys. I know there's a roundabout, but you don't have to slow down that much. There is no one coming. No, we're good. I'm not indicating. Naughty boy. Have I got my windows up? I cannot tell. I did have them up. It just felt like it was a bit loud. So, we're turning left here. Nos Pasturage. So there is a speed limit up here, but I'm ignoring it completely. Now, I do have a new truck skin. This was made for me by Martin, same as the one we're currently sporting. Um, he made it just before I did all my moving, so I haven't had a chance to show it to you yet. Um, I will. We will get reskinned, probably next episode, I think. So, we want to take the freight job, the milk, yes. That's quite a good job as well, to be fair. It's a bit shorter. Pays a lot less. No, we'll take the milk. These are all very good jobs. So, Where is our trailer? We're looking for a big milk trailer. I think we should be heading around here. Yeah, there we are. That's us. So now we can get the window down. get ourselves hooked up. So for now we're just getting on with the FS and ETS. ATS will be back as well but I just need a bit more time to prepare for that one. Right, rear suspension down. Is this not... what's going on? I've had this before. I have to really sort of dip down. Oh, he says we are ready to be coupled. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that I've got a key to reset the suspension, but I'm not sure. Because that does look higher. No, actually, it looks okay. So. This job is 55 minutes <clears throat> in total, but we are obviously going to be taking breaks. We can't do the full thing because it's 17 hours and 20 of total driving time. So let's just stop here for a moment, put those on, I'll put the hazards. We need to plan, so 2 hours 30 until we need to take a break. Can I get here? Can I get to that one? Yes. That's 2 hours 17, so actually that's that's perfect timing. Okay, so we'll do that one first. Right, hazards off. Break off. See how my truck does. A nice big 27 ton load. It's not a small load. And I will need to also put the window up, otherwise it's going to be really noisy. That's better. Still got all three of the cats. Someone told me I can just change their position, but I have not yet tried that. Alright. We are clear, but I think we need to use 
a large portion of road to get out. There we go. And off we go. So, two hours until the first stop. Let's talk about what I've done. So, I am going to give you a tour, like I said. Basically, I had the old workshop um, moved. Well, I said I had the workshop moved. Actually, I moved it. But I moved it into the old oil room. Um, this house used to have oil heating and now it's got gas. So I changed the, um, the the room that used to have the oil tank for the oil heater has been taken away long ago. I've moved the workshop into there and then given the old workshop a complete spruce up. So nasty old wall that I had has been taken down. Um, it was just made of random bits of wood all over the place. So I changed that. Um, I made it into plasterboard. So sorted all the plasterboard out for it. And my retarda. Ooh. I didn't notice it changed green while I was messing with the retarda. Um, yeah, so I changed it all to plasterboard, put the frame up, put the plasterboard up. Um, I did put some pictures up in Discord of that. After that, I had to build some fixtures. I needed like a way to hide the bottom of the wall and hide the cables, um, as well as needing to find a way to um, have some shelves. So I've built some shelves for me and also built some shelves for my cats. So they now have shelves that are just for them, I'm not putting anything on them, just some blankets. Then for me, I've just moved my stuff downstairs. Um, I've bought a new speaker, because my speaker was dying. Uh, so I just bought a cheap one. And then, come on, put the brakes on. Uh, and then a microphone stand. That was what was needed as well, because the microphone has always been cluttering up the desk a little. So now he's hanging on the side, which means I can actually move him out of the way when I'm not using it, which is very handy. It does mean my recordings are a little louder. When I did the FS1 earlier, I noticed I was a smidge louder than usual. Nothing major. Um, I can adjust everything in the volume. But yeah. And then. As I said, I've got a steering wheel stand as well, which does need some adjustment. If I remember, I'll do that straight after the finish this video. But I probably won't remember. I also made a stupid mistake. Um, I'm repeating a lot of what I said in FS video earlier, because I know people don't watch... Not everyone watches those. Some people watch just the ETS videos. Um, yeah. I should have cleaned the pedals, um, done my usual maintenance to stop them doing the sticky thing, but I forgot to do it, <coughs> and now they're bolted to the stand. I can of course take them off, but I just haven't done it yet. Right, we are coming off here, I think we're still on track for our break, we are, good. So, this is a roundabout, which means I do need to give way, but there's no one coming. That's good. But what, what I do want to say is thank you very much to everyone for sticking with me. Um, I've had some comments, new subscribers, um, and I am very pleased that everyone has kind of hung around because, yeah, it may have seemed like the channel died but it really hasn't. Um, I never intended to stop recording because I enjoy recording, especially the ETS videos. So it just took longer than I thought to actually get myself back up. Um, yeah, to get myself kind of ready to record again. I did think it would be much shorter, like a week, maybe two, um, as it is, I haven't even 
got my cables tidied. Because I was still ordering stuff, like the mic stand and the steering wheel um, stand, I haven't actually done any cable tidying, really. I did some at the start and then realised I didn't like it, and I needed the steering wheel stand, or the microphone was going to move, so I did a bit of a partial tidy and then stopped. So I do need to do more of a tidy. But that will be coming. Um, unfortunately, I kind of wasted my weekend. I didn't waste it. I, I really enjoyed my weekend. I relaxed completely. Um, I had a day off on Friday, so I did a bit of bit of stuff around the house that I needed to do. Um, and then Saturday, what was I doing on Saturday. Saturday, I watched the rugby. I spent a f good few hours watching the rugby. Today, a bit of recording, a bit of gardening. So, it's not been wasted, but it's not been as productive as it could have been, let's say. <clears throat> I mean, I've only got two videos recorded, and the original plan was to use Friday to record as many as possible. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I am doing stuff, just I'm not really getting back into the rhythm properly yet. I've still got bits lying around in the room that need tidying up. Um, so, yeah, there's still a lot of stuff to be done. Come on, truck. You can do this. I do also have my gear splitter plugged in, but not set up on here yet. I need to... I need to decide... <coughs> Excuse me. I need to decide what to do. I think I might try with the splitter um, on an offline game, like uh, my norm uh, my save that I do still play now and again, but I haven't for a while, but um, my save where I'm not recording. The reason for that is I don't have a splitter on my gear stick, so I do only have six gears plus reverse, so kind of need to I need to see if jumping two gears every time would be okay or if I need to maybe put a hotkey somewhere to change gear group or I can get a splitter but I don't know if I want to, at, at the, this point I don't want to spend more money it's kind of like the, the head tracking thing all over again if I'm not using it I don't want to spend money on it it's just pointless so I'd rather see if I use the gear stick and if I do then I can look at getting a splitter but for now ooh, this looks bad this looks bad this looks bad why are we slowing so much uh, yeah for now I'm not doing it at all no idea why they slowed down all of a sudden and of course they're doing that famous trick of now speeding up I hate it when this happens this happens in real life as well and it bothers me Sorry, mate, you're gonna have to let me in. Okay. So, about 20 minutes out. Not real time. This job is a big job. 51,000, basically. Lots of XP, lots of money. And I don't remember what I was... I know I wanted to keep money um, to buy a trailer. But I also want to get my drivers moving along. It'd be good if we could get some more drivers, but that would require more money. Are we supposed to be coming off here? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, and here's the rain. I'm trying to remember all of my different keys because it's been quite a while, as I said. So, this is where we will stop. <coughs> Just need to find ourselves a space. Hopefully, there is one. OK, 
Okay. This is a space, good. Let's turn those off, turn the lights off, turn the engine off, and rest. There we go, so we've got some income from the driver. Income from both drivers? No? Income from Carla twice. Any more? Let's see. No. How are the drivers doing? Let's have a quick look. So, Carla's got the DAF. She is currently working on Fragile Cargo. Gertruda. So, ah, Carla's got a trailer. Yes, I did buy her a trailer. Yes, 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 I remember. I bought her the container carrier. Um, yeah, we did want to buy one of those for Gertruda as well, but not yet. All right. Well, they're doing pretty well. 2,000 a day, 1,000 a day. She's working on long distance. Ah, yeah, because I wanted her to be short to distance and her to be long. So her, she's not going to need, she's going to need a different trailer, I think. Right. Let's have a quick look then. The next rest is going to be in 11 hours. But that is not actually what we're going to do. Hmm. What is going on with these lights? Just clear those windows a bit. Yep. So, I can't see how long I've got until I actually start driving. Which is odd. It is pitch black here. I cannot see a thing. Right, so we've got 15 hours. Let's see then. Uh, 15 hours. This episode's already 26 minutes, so I think... I think we're just going to find another stop somewhere nearby. Not too far. How far is that? That is another two hours. That would not be enough, so we do need a bit more. Although, actually, I think I'll probably drive a little bit during the night, during the day maybe. What about here? Ooh, that's, that's an interesting area. So that's five hours. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we'll do five hours. It's going to make this first episode fairly long. Um, but then the second episode will be fine. Although, actually, no, I'm being, I'm being very stupid here. I'm being very stupid. Let's not take a break there. Let's take a break here, like I thought. Because I'm, I don't need to rest there. That's what I'm forgetting. It's just a place for me to stop and finish the episode. That's all it is. No resting actually needed. So, little truck, little truck. You are doing very well with this load, I must say. That truck behind me could see I was coming, but he just didn't bother. Decided he was going to go right up to my bottom. So yeah, a couple of hours of driving through the French country and then we'll take a break and continue in the next episode. It's a shame it's night, but there's not much I can do about that. Cruise controls on. I am not sticking to the lane very well, though. And here we go. Yeah, so I've had a I've had a while of not doing any driving um, at all, and that's because the steering wheel. I knew I wanted a stand, so I got the PC set up 
so I could do a test to make sure all the electrics are working, all the wires were working. Didn't check the steering wheel at all. Then I knew that I was going to put the flight sim stuff in, so I put that in. Um, and then, oh, I switched my something to manual about a minute. Um, yeah, I knew I was going to do the flight sim stuff, so I got that set up. Well, I knew only where it was going to be. Um, and then after that, I just kind of waited for the steering wheel. Oh, I did not realise we were going to have a toll. For some reason, I thought the, I could only see the blue to start with, and I thought that meant it was going to be a rest stop. There we go. God, so many tolls. Nobody coming. Good. Okay. We need to move across to the other lane, apparently. Because we are heading towards Toulouse and Bordeaux. Not Paris, Limoges. Limoges? Limoges? I don't know. Why do they make these things 50? I had a, a holiday in Ireland um, during this period of missing as well and we drove around the whole country and some of the places um, my partner was saying to me can you please slow down you're going way too fast as I'm going as fast as I feel comfortable, that is it. I think I was doing about half the speed limit because it was just so hairy. It was not, not nice. And then the other day she showed me a picture. Um, <coughs> taken, <coughs> I don't know what's going on in my throat. A uh, picture taken in Ireland and it says, this is a speed limit, not a target. And it's, it's dead right. Some of the roads were, I think, 90, and there was no way in hell I was going to try and do 90. We were in a Suzuki Swift, that was our rental car, and that thing was bouncing and bouncing, and we were doing, I think, 50. <laughs> this is kilometres an hour as well, because Ireland uses kilometres an hour, not miles an hour. It was just crazy. <clears throat> Really beautiful, though, I have to say. But I didn't visit any Game of Thrones places specifically. Don't know why. Probably because I wanted to and she didn't. But there we go. That's what life is like. It's compromises. But we are almost at our break point, which is good. But I do need a thumbnail, so that's the thumbnail button. I could not remember. I was checking beforehand. Uh, let's make this daytime. There we go. That was nice and easy. Yeah, not long now until we take a break. Which is good because, um, as I said, I'm not used to doing this. It's been, oh, I think August was the last time I recorded, so two months. Um, maybe even longer. It might have been July. But yeah, I'm not used to talking so much, and this is the second video of today, so it's good for me to slowly ease my way back in. This week we'll definitely have two videos, I'm aiming for four. Um, give me a week or two and I'll be back up to normal so I can actually start doing um, ATS as well. Because ATS it means I'm doing six episodes a week. So I just need a bit of warm-up time really. Not sure what you'll do with me. We had to slow to 70, not to 40 or whatever that was. But I do need to slow to 30. 
cat has just come in. She's very impressed because I've got a new chair. It's a beanbag chair. She likes it. Am I overtaking you, despite the fact that I've got a massively heavy trailer? And then again, I don't know how heavy your trailer is. I shouldn't judge. But yeah, with this job, I think we'll be able to afford a curtain cider for our other driver. And I did say I want a trailer as well. Um, I would probably want a curtain cider as well, I guess. Are we far enough past him? Yeah. Yeah, we're not doing very very badly. Not doing too badly, I mean. Considering I was being warned that heavy cargo is not really what this truck is good for, um, we did quite well. We've pulled without any real issues. It's only when we're going from standstill that it gets a little bit more tricky, but like pulling out of the services. But apart from that, it seems to be alright. So we'll stop in here, and then next episode I might do a couple of hours, because it will be 40 minutes of driving time left, and I don't want to have too much driving time remaining. I want to try and get it to the 30 maximum, because I have to include time for parking as well, so I think it's good if um, I do a bit of driving, like I did before when I did a long job. Now then. We are just going to pull in here because I can't actually get to the truck stop, I don't think. Or can I? I can. So, let's go by here. Actually, I was on my way to the truck stop. I was just being stupid. Goodness sake. I didn't really understand what was happening there. Ooh, boy, boy. So, we'll just pull in by here. Now, I do not want to take a break, but I do want to stop. See, the reason it's flicking like that is because my pedal thinks that there's something going on. Right, switch the engine off and that's going to be it for the episode. So, thank you very, very much ladies and gentlemen for joining me again and I'm going to see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>